Hey friends, how are you? Hope you're well and you've had a good week. Um, mine's been busy, I have to say. Uh, not entirely busier than I thought it would be, but it was it was busy. Monday I was in um, a, st uh, a mall, a strip mall, on like the outskirts of Edinburgh that I I use I go to a lot. Um, I was meeting a friend of mine who. I was just back from Canada, so we're having lunch and just a catch up. So that, that was really nice. We did, we did some shopping. Um, I had gone in early because I needed to get a couple of things, uh, that I couldn't get while she was there. So yes, Jen, I've got some of your Christmas presents. So I couldn't do it while you were there. So I went. In, I I was actually in earlier. So I went in and got things I needed to get for her, for her, which was fun. But we also had a really nice time together, um, chatting at lunch, just, did some shopping, that was good. Tuesday, was Tuesday, excuse me, I'm going to consult the old diary. If I didn't have this, I would, see this, I'd be lost without my calendar. Alright, Tuesday was Dad's birthday, but we didn't do anything as he was going to a memorial service, a service of thanksgiving for somebody who, a friend of his who had gone to, they'd met, they were at school um, at the same time. I think the the gentleman was older than dad but dad knew him and he lived in the town and had you know dad had been to visit him a couple of you know um, on a, you know a couple of times so he, he was really wasn't he hadn't been well poor man and then also one of dad's school friends or two of dad's school friends were actually coming to the memorial service so one of them came to us for lunch you know beforehand and stuff so I was kind of firing dad and his friend and his other friend to the memorial service and back and stuff like this so that was Tuesday Wednesday mum and I took the chance to go into the, the strip mall and do some of dad's Christmas shopping we actually got it done there are a couple of things we need to pick up you know um but we have the majority of his christmas shopping done so i was really really pleased with that um went no tuesday also had a yoga lesson really good thoroughly enjoyed it yesterday was a day of rest i'm not joking i was absolutely i was knackered yesterday i was on my knees virtually so yesterday was a it was a horrible day here it was dull raining and it's just not a day to go out so I was quite happy to sit and cross stitch and read, which was great. This morning, I've actually been doing some baking, which you will see next, well, in the middle of the week, because it, I was baking for the next episode of Book and a Bake. So I had loads of fun doing that. Mum and Dad helped, so that was great. Really fun. Um, and then this afternoon, I'm going to do some videos. Edit them, etc. And I'm going to do some cross stitch and some reading. So that's and I've got rugby. I've got rugby tonight. So, but that's kind of been my week. It is been full on. Next week is just as just as hectic, but that's fine. I don't mind. So let's let's talk about books, shall we? Because that's really why you're here. So my first book that I completed this week was A Patchwork Family by Kathy Bramley. I gave this one five out of five. I loved this book. Um, excuse me. Kathy Bramley is becoming one of my basically autobuys. I really do like this. So we meet Gina and Gina runs a child minding business out of her little cottage called Welcome Cottage and it is part of the Evergreens estate. She is also very friendly with the three elderly people that live in Evergreens. You have Violet, you have Bing and you have Delphine and at the beginning of the book Gina is out with her ex-husband celebrating their divorce it's been fairly amicable and everything's going well and you know her business is really picking is really busy and she's you know needing to think about expanding her premises but she doesn't know how to do that but then comes up with an idea that she wants to put to the three elderly people at the evergreens 
And she's been taking the kids up to the Evergreens and like Violet and Delphine and Bingo have been, um, they have been sort of interacting with the kids and it's really been boosting them. But before she has a chance to put her idea to it, one of the elderly ladies passes away and that throws everything up in the air. Um, not only her business, but her home, their home. And basically Gina has to fight. She has a fight in her hands to save everybody's home, her business, everything. And it's how she how she goes about trying to do that. People that she engages with, the people that come on board, um, the naysayers. And a lot of things happen. I loved it. I really, really did. Um, I loved the characters. I really enjoyed the the interaction between the older generation and the young kids. Some of the kids were just absolutely superb. Just They are just so, so good. I liked Gina finding her feet, really finding what she, you know, she knew, she knows what she's, she's doing, what she wants to do, but she she's she, she's still very in, insecure at times, but she begins to, she has even, even more growth within the book. And I just really, really enjoyed it. Um, I could, you know, if you're looking for a really feel good book, I would pick up this one. I then switched off to something completely different and I read another Shally School fill-in. This is Rosemond Heads the Shally School by Elisa Townsend. Um, so this is book number 52A in the series. Okay. This one I'm going to give three and a half out of five. Not that it was a bad book. I, re I did enjoy it, but I think I would have enjoyed it more if I had recently read sort of a couple of books previous to this one and the ones afterwards so that I had more inkling as to what what was going on um, as to what this book was based around because Rosamond is not she was not one of these characters that was like to the fore in the Shally School series um, but her time as head girl she made an impact she helped out so much when various things were happening within the school she has a huge decision to make um towards the end of the book and i have to say i was it was so well written i was left in tears because you just you got to know her so well in this book having not really known her greatly in the actual series itself so we got to know, you know, she was just a, she's a lovely character and I wish that she had been more to the fore in the series. And the way that she helps look after some of the younger pupils and the way she deals with, like, the older pupils as well was really nice. I liked her interaction with the staff and with her friends. Um, her interview towards the end with the head was just was so poignant it was so lovely because it really brought the head's character out as well um the abbess is one of my favorite characters of the whole series and it just really brought her her caring and compassionate side out it was so nice so yeah so i'd probably give this one three and a half four um, now that I'm talking about it more, it, it took me longer to read. I think because I was so tired, I wasn't totally concentrating. Um, but no, really good fill-in. You know, if you love the Shally School series, um, and this is a, kind of one of the first fill-ins, I think, for the, the Swiss era. So, yeah, it's really nice to have fill-ins that are coming in at later stages of this series and I hope there will be so many more. I would I know there's one which is called um the Shally School Librarian which is near the end um isn't it? I think it's actually after New Beginnings. And I would hope that the people who are really clever and write these fill-ins, I would love that they actually start writing 
shall we say, some more fill-ins for what maybe happened afterwards, I think that would be really, really good. Um, but no, definitely a great fill-in for the Shelley School. I also read Blue Skies, Blue Eyes by Callie Black. I'm not going to tell you anything about it in this video because it's going to be, it's the book I've chosen for my book in a bake for this month. So you'll find out all about it next week when I put that video out. But, oh, it was just so, so good. Really, really enjoyed it. And then what am I picking? I picked up last night, the start of, for no Nora November, I picked up Song of the West by Nora Roberts. Never heard of this book. Um, It was a per chance sighting in... Tesco. The, our local Tesco has a, a bookshelf where there are books there, like second-hand books, and you just put a donation in for Diabetes UK. I happened to see this one. I thought, never heard of it. So I picked it up and I am on, what am I on? I'm on chapter five. I'm half, you know, it's a very short book. I will get this finished maybe this afternoon um, or definitely over the weekend. There's no way I'm not going to finish it. Uh, yes, all my all my activities are getting to me. So yes, yeah, so I'm going to read this. I have also picked up, it's downstairs, it's a hardback called My Hooga Home by Week, oh gosh, what's his name? I can't remember, is it, is it Meek Wh Winning, I think, or Weaving, something like that. It, the picture will be in on the thumbnail and also you'll see I'll write write it down in the description below um I've only read a couple of pages of it last night and I think it's gonna be really really interesting that's my 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 book for non-fiction November um so yes yeah, so that's kind of been my week excuse me yeah um as I say it was a busy week probably taken a toll on my body but that's that's the way it goes it needs these th things needed to be to be done and that's fine you know I'm, I loved being out Christmas shopping with mum I have to say it was just we had so much fun it was just so good and dad and I are going out this week so um I'm looking forward to that again as well because again it's just going to be for us it's going to be so much fun we have we have so much joy you will see at the end of this book uh, not the end of the book, the end of this video. I'm going to tag on a video I made. Hopefully it'll tag on. It should do, but I don't know. There was like Christmas music playing in the background. So I don't know whether I'm going to get done for copyright. I don't know. I'm hoping not. Fingers crossed. But um, I went to the store called The Range, which oh, all their Christmas, they had all their Christmas stuff out and our Christmas decorations. So I did a kind of, we, we wandered up and down the aisles um, to let you see. And hopefully you will, that will come up. There are also some, oh dear. There's also a couple of stills as well that I will put in of some other decorations that I saw. So hopefully you will, you will um, enjoy seeing that. But plans for this weekend, well there's rugby as say tonight, Glasgow game tonight, tomorrow there's an Edin there's Edinburgh playing tomorrow and there are a couple of other games as well. And then on Sunday, we because we didn't do anything for Dad's birthday this week, we are going to go out on Sunday. Mum and I are taking him out for lunch. Um, I don't know whether we're going down the borders or whether we're going to a garden, another garden centre that he, he likes, that we all like. Um, and we can go there, have a snuffle and have lunch and which would be really really lovely um, so that's kind of my plans reading wise I'll do the Nora Roberts and the Huga one I am on the background for a cross stitch bookmark I'm making for a friend's wee one um, so I, w I would like to try and finish that this weekend mum was very kindly backing them for me with felt uh, she's done two she's got another two plus the one I'm doing another three to go because we plan to get them off within the next, probably by the middle of this month. Um, I want to get all my, so can you just see, my American Canadian stuff away. Um, my plan is also that maybe tomorrow afternoon or tomorrow evening to maybe sit and write my Christmas cards. And I might do that some day this week. Uh, just get them done and get them away as well by the middle of this, this month. 
I just would like to just try and get things like that done so that I am not stressing about it. Um, at the moment, myself and my other half are due to go away middle of November, middle of October, uh, what am I saying? Middle of December for a week. Fingers crossed, there are a few issues that may make that not happen. I'm not going to say anything more. Just keep your fingers crossed, friends, that we get to go away. Um, if we do get to go away, I will tell you where we're going and I'll do, I can play, I'll play video bits and pieces. But just keep your fingers crossed that we get away. It would be, it'd be lovely. It would be so nice. But if we don't, I'm not, I'm not worrying about it. If I, if we don't get away, we don't get away. I'm, it, uh, I'm not going to get upset and boo hoo hoo about it. No. Um, but kind of that's, that's the plans I'll say for the weekend um, and what I'm going to be reading. Please let me know down in the comments. One, have you started your Christmas shopping? I would love to know. Two, what are you doing this weekend? And three, what have you been reading this week and what you plan to week, read the, week, the weekend? If you've read any of the books I've mentioned, please come chat with me down in the comments. That'd be great. And on your way down there, why don't you hit that subscription bell and the notification bell as well? It'll tell you when. It'll help me grow my channel. It'll tell you when new videos are going out. Um and but that's it for this video friends i really hope you've enjoyed it and you have a great weekend but until my next one stay safe happy reading bye i think i think that christmas is coming don't you um i'm in the shop at the shopping mall that we go to called the range and i'm looking for a few things i've got a few things in my hand but i can't show you because they're destined for somebody that i think may watch my videos but i'm not 100 percent sure but at the moment, I'm having fun. I'm having so much fun looking at such gorgeous decorations. Um, yeah. Yes, friends, you know how I feel about Christmas. <laughs> but I'm going to just, I'm not going to spend a lot of time here. I'm just looking for certain things. But I thought I would take you with me on my little wander. I mean, I'm not joking. How cute is this little gonk on the sleigh? Well, because it's the same yeah, it's beautiful. I'm done for someone to provision. I've come to the conclusion that I would need a massive house. We're we're talking like massive, massive house. If I was ever to decorate the way I would want to decorate for Christmas, but hey ho. There are certain decorations that appeal to me, there are others that, and there are certain, it's funny, I, there are certain colours that I'm like, yes, definitely. There are other colours and I'm like, no, it's like, I'm actually meeting a friend for lunch and she is very much um, blue and silver and I am red, green and gold. <laughs> So yes, so um, as I say, I'm wandering the aisles looking for certain things and we'll see if we find them. But I am seeing so many things, guys. I mean, how stinking cute is that? Oh, wow. And then I can hear you going, Fiona, where would you put it? The only thing is about it, it doesn't light up, okay? And that sucks. That would have been lovely if that lit up. Um, oh wow, look at all of this. This is just so nice. Ooh -hoo. As I say, I'm just giving you, I mean, I will be coming in doing more definite Christmas shopping, but I'm just sort of trying to have a quick squint and see what there is and just I know a little girl in America who would adore that and I know if she's well, I know that she watches my videos so I you know who you are wee one I know you love that but I mean how also how cute is that I mean come on Seriously, friends, I, I need a mansion. Okay. 
beautiful. Oh wow. It's quite interesting. It seems to be a lot of, shall we say, whites this year. You know, they're obviously going for very much um, a cool um, tones. Yeah. Oh, I'm seeing loads of things, friends. <laughs> Blacks and golds, and into my favorite. Oh, hello! Look at that, that's pretty. And these, are, these are my colors, friends. Definitely. Oh, I love this aisle. This is exactly where I needed to be. So, I'm going to stop now because I've seen what I want to look at. But I hope you've enjoyed this little tour of of some of the Christmas decorations at the range. Um, but yeah, hope you've enjoyed. <laughs>